Hello everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Let's Play Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, we got the Mornstar and we went through the Tombstone Trail and we fought the big old candle monster. And in this episode, we're going to be returning the prince to his home and we're going to hopefully go back to our time now that we know the uh, Breach Time spell. So we are here right now and I actually did a bunch of grinding. I think I leveled up one or two extra levels for sake of what we're doing next. I also caught a Tin Man! Which I'm really happy about, because I really wanted one. So I will likely switch... Actually, I might as well just do that right this minute. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go here and switch them out. Maybe I should just switch around my familiars in general. So let's drop off these three. I don't really use them. I feel like I should have used Armstrong, because I like him and he's cool, but oh well. Um, so we'll get rid of all of them. And let's look at who we have. But uh, yeah, Tin Man! Oh yeah, that's right, I called him Megatron. <laughs> Cause I'm funny. Alright, so we'll get Megatron. Oh, that's... Wait, is he level 1? Is that what that said? I guess they are level 1. That's messed up. Um, Let's see, we already have a fire. And we already have like a physical. But it's really fast. So maybe I should get that. Um, You know what, no, it might actually be good if we have like a ghost character. Um, I don't really like Roland though. I he's kind of an ugly fucker. <laughs> um, and I don't even really think that we're gonna need. Maybe I should just use Armstrong. Do they all have pretty much the same stamina. Yeah, because none of them move. Whoa! Why does Flinty have thirty-five stamina? If I didn't already have Solar Primal, I would totally take Flinty. But I'm not gonna do that because I like Solar Primal and it's already been. It's already really high leveled and it's metamorphosized. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm like conflicted. Let's take Wisp. Um, I, I keep forgetting the shows there. Um, I, Cause I want to trade out Shocker for someone and I don't really need another physical attacker. Zeppelin's just like a normal type. Hmm. Weak against light and water. Weak against light. I don't know why I, I'm. I, I don't. This isn't even that big of a decision, but I'm making it one, I guess. Hmm. I'm gonna take Flinty, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Sorry, that wasn't even like that hard of a decision. I just, I don't know. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take Tin Man here. And Tin Man's super slow. And his attack's really slow. I'm a little nervous about using him. I might as well give him... Oh no, massive mounts are being used. I just want them to level up. So... Let's see. We can actually trade... Let's trade out Sid. I don't know. Let's give Sid. I like Kago a lot. He's really good. He's got really high defense. Mmm. I'm gonna. You know what? I think I'm gonna not. I think I might just not use Hurley. I don't really like Hurley very much, to be honest. Or Gunther. I, I, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So I'll give Swain Sid so he can have someone that can heal. Also, I will switch these two. And I will give her him so she has like a big attacker. And I'll also take away his massive mallet, sorry, and give it to him. And I'll switch them around. I don't, obviously, I don't want her to use Tin Man, but I can't really help it if she does. And then we'll take. I like Solar Prime, but I don't really feel like it's that good. Maybe it's just me, though. Crosswind. Yeah, I'm gonna keep what I have for now, I think. Even though I don't like Shocker that much, I think it's important that we have someone that can also use, like, electricity. I don't know what our next boss is or anything like that. I, I looked earlier. 
But now I don't remember. Oh, you know what? No, I do remember who our next boss is going to be. So I, I am actually kind of happy with what we have. So yeah, we'll just roll with this. And hopefully Tin Man can become an asset, but that's not guaranteed. I think I have a lot of money, don't I? Because I uh, grinded for, yeah, 17,000 gold. Alright, so I believe there is some upgrades we can get, and we should probably try and buy some stuff for our new people. Hello, Codder Master. Uh, let's see. So he's already got his best weapon he can have. Let's see. What's better? 54? Okay. So we'll buy him the Guardsman Axe. Uh, the Tin Man, that is. Yes. Okay. And then we will also buy this and equip it to you. And I'm not really worried about Sid. Well, we haven't upgraded anything of Sid's for a while, so maybe we should buy him one as well. Or, yeah, it's a him. There we go. Or I actually, I don't, I don't think they even have gender. And then we should probably buy claws for Lamal. And that's good for now. Because the thing about shockers, we're only going to use shockers uh, stuff. Oh, God, wait. I should buy... I always forget that they also have... Right? It's, it's here that also has armor and stuff. I always forget to buy that stuff. And that's why I struggled for such a long time. Buy... It's, uh, never mind, I'm not even gonna make excuses for myself. I was gonna say, it's kind of hidden, but it's totally not. Alright, uh, let's see. That's only gonna, okay, I'm not gonna get that. Let's see who can use this. Oh, wow. Okay, so we'll buy two of these. Or should we buy three, one for, yeah, let's just do it. I just want to fully equip everyone with everything they need. So you, you, and you. Wow, that's really convenient how they have that set up. And we should probably... Ah, oh, damn. We should definitely buy... Uh, and you know what? What about these? What does this do? Hard scales forward from steel. They add five defense. I'll buy one of these. Oh, I, can, I didn't realize I could give one to these people. Let's give it to her then. Alright, so uh, eventually, what I really need to do, I'm a little concerned that I just bought all this equipment in Hamelin because of the fact that we're about to go to a new place and probably find some new equipment that's better. But at the same time, we wouldn't have had enough. I, I feel like it's better to equip everyone with new stuff than just like one person with the best stuff. Plus, if I really need to buy new equipment, I could always just grind up for a while. I think I've come to terms with that fact. Like the other day, I, I, I was watching a movie for class yeah, yeah, from home. And I literally was just grinding Nino Kuni while I was watching it. And I think that's the habit I'm getting into now is just like, I need to find a mundane task to do, and while I'm doing it, I will, you know, just grind up levels in the game. And it works out pretty well. I really don't like that they're making me walk all the way back here, but this is supposed to be, I'm assuming, like the last time we are here. So I'm sure they want us to, like, go through and see everything one last time. Because this, this area is really cool. As I said, the whole island that we're on right now between the kingdom and just the environments is def and tombstone trail has definitely been my favorite so far except for maybe the fairy lands and being inside of uh, the mom but I don't think that speaks volumes as much as this does about their ability to design them the le their level design it was cool and all but like the, the fairy land was just like you know a forest with a lot of cool little characters and then being inside mom's stomach, which is just kind of funny and horribly... Oh my god, what happened? Oh, the Emperor. Your Majesty. Uh, <gasps> Father. Uh, but why? What happened? Sh Shadar. Shadar? Yes, he was here. He came to... To... Demand our unconditional surrender. Huh? But, but let it be known, I defied him. I would not bow to that wretch. No, don't. Don't try to speak. Gascon. Huh? My son. My beloved son. Huh? You really thought 
I couldn't tell. You knew? Your appearance may have changed, but I know my own flesh and blood. What the future holds is a mystery to all men. But I know, I know that together, you and Marcus and can, I believe in you, protect the Empire now and in the future. Father, no! Father, please! to meet you again. And now this. I just wanted... I just wanted to make you proud. And now... This has to happen! Damn it! Sway. No! Damn. Jeez, I wonder what's taking Swain so long. His dad just died, you jerk. I just can't believe that he's Gascon. Really, I'm not that surprised. I guess he didn't want us to know, huh? I suppose so. It won't be the same now. We know that he's a prince. Well, I'm going to act like I don't know. Me too. Unless Swain wants to talk about it, I'm not going to say a word. Hmm? Oh, you don't need to worry about me, Mun. I'll have uh, forgotten all about this in a bit. Couldn't remember if I wanted to, me. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's forgetting. Sorry to keep you waiting. Swain! I suppose it's time to go, but I need to say goodbye to Marquesan. Marquesan? You guys were trying to tell me how to actually say it, and I totally forgot already. And I know that the cutscene said it, but I don't have my game audio loud enough to where I can hear. It's today that... It's today that you're leaving, isn't it? Yes, your highness. Thank you for everything. No, no, I should be thanking you. Because of you, I was able to become my father's heir, and soon, I'll formally inherit his title. Yeah, I bet the people of Hamelin are glad about that and all. I mean, to give them a reason to be, I want them to know that they have nothing to fear from Sh er, nothing to fear from Shadar. I refuse to let him defeat us. I want Gascon to be able to come back to Hamelin whenever he likes, after all. I must keep the Empire safe until he does so. You'll make a fine Emperor, Marquesan. and Gascon would be proud of you. I hope so. He always believed in me, and I shall never stop believing that he will come back. You have no idea. Ali boy, it's all a glow, man, you don't think? It must be Marquesan's belief in his brother must be real strong. I'm sorry, I... Your Highness, there's someone who needs your help. Someone who needs some of the strength that's in your heart. My heart? Whoever are you talking about? Well, you, your highness, in the future, I mean. In our time, a piece of your heart is missing. My future self? That's right, and we need you to share some of your belief with him, to help him get back to normal. My belief? Very well. I can hardly refuse my own future self a piece of my heart. This is some meta-ass shit right here. <laughs> we're taking the belief of uh, the past self, and we're going to give it to him in the future. This is blowing my mind. What? Let me do it. Cool. So we're taking his soul and then giving him it back to him in the future. This is crazy! <laughs> I really do like this. I like this game a lot. It's got it's really picked up in the uh, second half. I'd say I'd say we're about in the second half. Thank you very much, Your Highness. There is no need to thank me. Now please give that belief to my future self. But before you go, Swain? Yes? When you return to your time, please give my regards to my future brother. I'll be sure to do that, your highness. Righto, back to the future. Ah! Dun 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 <laughs> dun 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 banana dun dun. I I don't even I can't even sing the theme song to Back to the Future. We gotta go back in time. Back to the Future is like one of my favorite movies. Okay, all together. Today, Today tomorrow, tomorrow, yesterday, yesterday send, send us safely, safely on our way! way. <gasps> oh.
Oliver's gone. They've all gone. That's pretty cool. Did we make it? Huh? Aren't we still in the same place? No way, Mun. That's impossible. I know when a spell works, and that spell worked right and proper. We're back in our time, no doubt about it. Yeah, this place is different somehow. Swain, we made it back. That's all that matters. Now, isn't there someone we need to be helping, or should be helping? Oh, of course. Come on, Oliver. Let's find Marquesan. Marquesan. Mark as in. Mark as in. Marquesan. 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 There's so many possibilities. <laughs> all right. Hello! What are you wearing? Get out of here! Go! Be gone, I say! Alright, 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 alright. So, all that carry on was 15 years ago, was it? And this poor lad's been on his own ever since. Uh, Your Highness, we brought you something. A gift. It's from 15 years ago. We got it from, well, we got it from you. A anyway, if it's okay, we'd like you to have it back. What did you say? What is the meaning of this? Wait, so shouldn't, like, time... Shouldn't it all be, like, altered? Like, shouldn't you be happier now? I don't... I don't get it. I don't really know if we, like, altered the, like, time or... Uh, whatever. I'm just not gonna think about it. What is this? This... this glow? Oh my god! W what's happening? What is this warmth that spreads within my breast? What have I been doing? All this time I've been so misguided. It was Shadar, your highness. He took the belief from your heart. My heart? My belief? Wait, I feel... I believe in people once more. I want to believe in people. It has been so long since I felt this way. Does this mean... Does this mean that you saved me? Was it you who gave me back the capacity to believe? It was, your highness. I did promise, didn't I? I promised I'd come and help you if you were ever in trouble. Wherever you were, no matter how far away. Wherever I... I see. Haha, <laughs> now I see. You came back. I always knew that you would. Thank you. There's really no need to thank me, Your Highness. Your Highness, we need your help. We want you to help us to defeat Shadar. What did you say? You mean to face Shadar? That is impossibly reckless. I am a great sage, and yet Shadar was able to enter my heart and take a piece of it with impunity. And yet, I was saved, just as I was promised. Very well. I shall assist you. Together we will defeat the Dark Jinn. Shadar's days were numbered. They, uh, they sure are. Thank you so much, Your Highness. I knew you wouldn't let us down. <laughs> and that is why you're the Emperor, Marquesan. He didn't really seem to react that Swain had returned. He kind of made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal to him. Well, well. What are we to make of this? It seems the Savior managed to acquire Mornstar after all. And somehow managed to travel back to the present. I would have thought that far beyond his meager power. Indeed. The power to breach time can be used but once in a mortal's life, can it not? It would seem that he has benefited from yet more assistance. And that his benefactor possesses formidable powers. Powers on a par with our own. This supposed helper of his is no mere dabbler in the magical arts. Such powers recall those of that ancient king without whom our magic wands could not exist. Yes, I speak of my... But that would be a truly terrifying proposition, if one such as he were to... Fear not. Should the need arise, I shall take action myself. Your radiance? You mean to say... <laughs> I do. He cannot hope to defeat me, and I will tell you. Alright, everyone listen. In order to defeat Shadar, we must first break down his defenses. Now, the Dark Jinn is protected by a magical barrier known as the Black Briar. The Black Briar? Yes, it's a cloying magical barrier which no spells can pr permeate. Premiate? Premiate? I didn't see the word. Neither Rashad nor Alicia were able to overcome the Black Briar. This, that is why Shadar was able to defeat them. And with the other great sages incapacitated, he was able to de delve deep into my own heart and steal a piece of it. 
But now, Marquesan, oops, I mean, your majesty. Come along now, Esther. I once fought alongside you as a child. There is no need for you to use my royal title. The same goes for all of you. Sure, your majesty, uh, don't worry, Oliver. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Now, I would dearly love to accompany you on another journey, one where we grow together, or strong together, strong enough to defeat Shadar. But protecting the Empire has to be my first priority. There is also the small matter of the uh, rectifying the many mistakes I made while brokenhearted. I comfort myself with the knowledge that you now possess a wand that should enable you to defeat Shadar without my aid, Oliver. Mornstar once belonged to the Wizard King. It is said to have the power to overcome my enchantment. Or any enchantment. That must, uh, that must surely include the Black Briar that protects Shadar. Unfortunately, however, the wand you have in your possession is not complete. Eh? Not complete? What are you on about? Mornstar's true power is beyond most wizards' comprehension. It is so powerful, indeed, that the ancient king who created it decided that it sh uh, its power should be divided between three magical stones. These three stones were then sealed away far from the wand itself. So we need to go find them, right? Yes, but I have an apology to make in that regard. Uh, wh why? Why have you? What have you done? A map detailing the locations of the three stones was once in my possession. I am afraid, however, that it has been stolen. Stolen? While I was brokenhearted, I must confess that I became rather neglectful of the palace's treasures. Books and maps would often disappear. To my shame, I actually observed several such thefts and did nothing. That sounds about right. I found it hard to care about anything much when I was brokenhearted. Well, this is a bit flippin a bit of flippin' rum. If the thief was pinched, uh, who pinched the map uses it to get a hold of the stones, what do you think he's going to do with them? I do not know. What I do know, however, is the identity of the thief. His name is Kublai. Kublai? Kublai? Kublai. Kublai. He styles himself King of the Sky Pirates. Kublai? Of all the people to tangle with. I should have known you two were, uh, would be thick as... Um, anyway, I shouldn't suppose you know where he is, do you? That's the thing with the Sky Pirates. You never know where they are. They're always moving from hideout to hideout on these giant airships. Of course there's airships. It's a JRPG. That, now that I'm complaining, because airships are awesome. He is very unlikely to cooperate peacefully, however. I had better teach you some new spells, Oliver. Alright, we get the Ward spell. The Fuse spell. The Insight spell. Not very many spells. You will almost certainly be doing a lot of traveling on your search for Kublai. Therefore, let me grant you one last spell. Travel? Oh man, did we just unlock traf as fast travel? What does it do, your ma uh, Marquesan? It instantly transport you to any locations you have already visited. While I am unable to accompany you on your travels, I can at least make them pass more comfortably. That's great, and it means we can come and see you anytime we like. Ha, <laughs> indeed. Be sure to use it to return to some of the other places you have visited on your journey. I find, find out what has changed. If you find the Temple of Trials, for example, you will now be able to take part... Oh, that's right, the Solosseum series, organized by my old teacher, Solomon. Oh, wow, I'd almost completely forgotten about Solomon on the Temple of Trials. Our first priority, though, is to find Kublai, King of the Sky Pirates. Why would you say, like, the title? Well, I, I mean, I know it's for the game sake, but I always think it's funny like in video games when like characters are talking to each other and they like say each other's names when they're talking, because it's not necessary because we know they're talking to each other so when they keep saying Marquesan that doesn't make sense, like you wouldn't have a conversation with me and then like every other sentence say Jake because I know you're talking to me and so does everyone else involved in the conversation, but I guess it's just part of dialogue trees and JR. well I don't even know about JRPGs a lot of games do that, a lot of, you know not and mo that's what I think is so odd about the narrative in video games is that uh the writing of it seems so strange hey you're not wearing a helmet anymore <laughs> awesome i like attention to detail like that maybe that's the helmet that uh what's his name took oh wait can we open this let's see where's we have so many magic spells now there we go oh Oop. bummer it doesn't matter uh, let's go this way. 
Uh, but it seems odd, like, with tra like uh, dialogue between characters, they repeat each other's names when it's just not necessary. Or, well, and they outline very obvious things like, we need to go find so-and-so of so-and-so. It's like, they're only saying that for you. They're not saying it for the game's sake. So, there are a few things I'd like to do before... Oh, wait, what is this? Does this take us to the exit? Oh, that's a Or the entrance, I should say. Same thing. That's fantastic. I wonder how long that's been there. Woo! Alright. How do I get out of here? Um, I would like to... Before we go try to find the Sky Pirates, I would like to do a few things. I would like to travel to... Um, back to the tree. I don't even remember what the tree's name is now. I'd like to travel back and see him, because apparently we're supposed to tell him about our travels and we have yet to go visit him again. And I'm pretty sure he gives us items. So we will use travel, and thank god it doesn't cost very much. Uh, let's see, where's this at? Oh, we have to walk all the way there? That's lame. Uh, oh, no, wait. Was it Golden? No, it wasn't Golden Grove. Okay, yeah, these are in order. No, they're not. This is weird. Okay. Uh, let's go to Ding Dong Dell. Holy crap, we haven't been to Ding... It's so weird, like, I guess I haven't realized how long we've been playing this game. Like, how long has it been since we've been to Ding Dong Dell? Alright, so now we would like to go meet our tree buddy. And that... Where was that at? Are there, like, different enemies? Yeah, there we go. There's the same enemies around here, but obviously they're not going to mess with us because we're so strong. Um, wasn't the forest, like, behind Ding Dong Dell? Where's our map at? Ooh. There we go. Um, there we go. That's where I want to go. So, just that way. It's a long walk. I will be right back when I get there. So I'll go ahead and cut all this nasty stuff out. All this nasty walking. Okay, guys. We're back now. And we're visiting our good old buddy, the great Deku Tree in a second here. I don't really know what... Oh, there he is! Oh, I missed him. The Great... Is it the Great Oak? I think that's all he's called, right? I think I thought he had a more complicated name than that. Hello, old Father Oak. Oh, ho! Here you are again! How very nice it is to see you, young man. And how are you faring on your adventure, hmm? Tell me all about it. <laughs> Ten hours... Fifteen hours later. Ho ho ho! So you've been to Hamelin, and not only there, but the past also. You have traveled far, little ones. When I was but a sapling, I visited Autum Autumnia, 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 whatever, myself. But in those days, Hamelin was no great city. It could hardly even have been called a village. Huh? You mean you were once a traveler like us, old Father Oak? Indeed I was! It was to be, oh, uh, centuries ago now, but the Telling Stone and I still remember it fondly. Blimey, not even I knew that. Well, it has been many years since I spoke of it, but the tale of our travels is an important part of the Wizard's Companion. Would you like to read it? Shh, n no. Maybe I should just do a couple episodes where I just read pages out of the book. I don't know, would you guys think that was interesting? Probably not. Well, we can't exactly say no now, can we? Ho ho ho, I do apologize it was talking, or it was talking of your travels, right? Oh, it made me nostalgic. Don't worry, old Father Oak, we'll keep coming here and telling you our story. Ho ho, how very kind of you, then helping your story to continue is the least I can do. Guys, that's all we get? That's all we get? Okay, so apparently, that's interesting though. You know in games when it's like, oh, if you go back to someone, like, there will be someone set up to always give you things when you... Oh, I can't use that here. I have to walk all the way out. Um, it's, I always find it interesting when you have... What is that? That looks cool. When you have these characters that, like, help you out and give you things on your quest, and if you don't go the whole time and you go back to talk to them, they basically will give you everything they haven't given you yet, and you'll get just, like, a bunch of dialogue, or it'll just skip over it all... I, I don't know if I like that or not, because I kind of would have liked to have gotten a bunch of items, but oh well. I kind of want to go to the Solosseum, basically the Solosseum, or the Solosseum, um, if we're going like based on the pronunciation of Solomon. It is, uh, I'm trying to think of what it actually is. Oh, it, it's like uh, the Hades Cup. It was like It's like the Colosseum from Kingdom Hearts, where you just fight big waves of enemies. 
I don't think you gain experience from it, though, which is kind of why I don't even want to bother. But I'm sure you guys want to see it. Uh, I'm going to actually end the episode now, though. I feel like we did quite a lot today, actually. Very much a uh, story-heavy episode, which I like. I like episodes like that a lot. But for now, let's see. Where should we go? Let's just go to... Where are we supposed to be going? Let's go back to Ding Dong Dell, because the, the, the river is close. And then in the next episode, we will begin our search for the Sky Pirates. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Red Panda Gamer. Please like this video, favorite this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and do forget to share love. I'm Red Panda Gamer, and I will see you guys next time.